What's up everyone? Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, new channel, huh? It's gonna be my first video right here. Um, I'm gonna come out with a YouTube, uh, with uh, my channel uh, trailer soon. Once I get a few more clips, like an insert and stuff like that, do a little montage. Um, yeah, this is gonna be the first video. Um, if you're watching, please drop a like and subscribe. Uh, my name is Josh Varapa, um, this is going to be my vlog channel, I guess, and, um, yeah, this, this is going to be my first video, oh, oh, shit, I already said that, huh, hmm. well, this first video is just going to be a bunch of random stuff for the first week of vlogging, um, but, uh, first week of vlogging, uh, just to get my feet wet, um, I'm currently editing, a my first video right now it's uh 1:45 a.m. so i have to keep it a little bit quiet because my parents are sleeping um and i don't want to get in trouble for staying up this late yes i'm 16 years old my parents do like to make me go to bed a little bit earlier they'd like to say before 11:30 whatever who cares mate um Okay, uh, mate, excited, I'm excited for this, um, looking forward to uh, just do stupid stuff, just have fun, uh, make you guys experience what, what you can, I know it's not going to be the real thing, but I want it to be as real as possible, nothing fake, always, always real content, that's the main goal, um, None of this Jake Paul, Logan Paul stuff. I can't guarantee there won't be clickbait, but I'll guarantee the qu the content of the or the video will be real. Um, just honest reactions. Uh, you know, like David Dobrik and stuff. They just they they have to refilm it to get the right reaction. I know it's a joke, but like you know what I mean. But yeah, um, again, please like and subscribe. Um, I'm filming this video after me editing the video. Um, well, at this point, I'm still going to add a few more clips on um, because I'm working in a few hours from now. I'm going, uh, I'll probably just film a few clips on my phone. I have a few gliders going up. And, uh, yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but... Well, have some fun, and, uh, just, uh, just hope you guys are doing alright, staying healthy, taking care of you guys' families, um, but, uh, oof, that was a solid crack, huh, but, mate, thank you for watching, guys, and, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video, um, keep, keep plowing through all the obstacles, whatever, uh, stay positive, look at all of the positives, um, use the negatives, use everything that you, like, that goes against you as a motivation to do better, that's all I gotta say, that's the quote, I guess, jeez, upload schedule, I don't know, um, probably once a week, maybe, pushing it once a week, but, we'll see how it goes, I don't know how Adam LZ and TJ Hunt and all of that stuff, um, per, and Logan Paul post a vlog every day, but Logan Paul doesn't count because his vlogs are like five minutes long, it doesn't take too long, long to edit, but like, um, yeah, they post every day, I, they, I mean, that's their job, but we'll see, content is gonna have workouts, cars, car meets, um, my job, my job's super cool, you guys will see it more often, driving, uh, maybe I'd like to get into fishing because I live in Florida currently, uh, fishing in the lakes around, get a cheap rod, see what I can catch, catch and cook, um, stuff like that, um, it's all scattered, you know, it's not going to be one focus until I get later on, I'd like to focus on cars in a couple of years, but we'll see how far this channel goes, and, um, yeah, well, again, enjoy the rest of the video, uh, please, um, uh, be the best if you guys could please like and subscribe to the video and uh, like and subscribe subscribe to the channel um 
yeah. Uh, thank you. That's all I gotta say. So I'm filming off my phone because I don't have a camera, but maybe I will for 40 bucks. Um, so I can open this thing. Alright, so yeah, my, I, I used to have a well, I used to have a Subaru Crosstrek 2017, and uh, it came with a really nice like sunshade for the mirror. The, win the window, the front window, and um, and uh, it's really good quality. Whatever, you know what I mean. But it doesn't fit entirely. Um, I gotta fly in here. I I hate flies so freaking much, man. They're just annoying. All right, so. Let's see. Yeah, that's the best I can get it. But quick uh. water. <laughs> uh, well, now I'm just gonna do a quick time lapse of me in the car a bit of a quick wash yeah mate <laughs> it's so bloody hot I think it's around like 35 maybe 40 degrees centigrade uh, around like 95 maybe 100 degrees Fahrenheit in Florida right now so yep This is day two. Um, day two of filming. Got the video. Um, yeah, there's a glider that took off about an hour ago. Uh, yeah, uh, he um, he's around. He's just up to the north. Um, Northwest-ish. Uh, he's around 
4,000, 5,000 feet in the air right now. Um, another glider just uh, landed a few few minutes ago. Um, right there. That glider, yeah, we launched him a couple of hours ago and then he came back down. He's, he's gonna, I think he might be able to go back up, but anyway, yeah. Uh, the weather's really good for gliding right now. So many thermals. Um, stay up for hours. Uh, if you have a good launch uh, with, um, with the Dragonfly. Um, yeah. Looking good. All in all. It's a bit quiet for today. Um, but, yeah. It's fun. Yep. Alright. Uh, I'll show you my... Yeah. It's a bit slow today. Like it's all of, all of the other, all of the other youngins uh, went back back home. Some uh, like one of my good friends, Tiago, uh, went back to Miami. He'll probably be back in two weeks. Um, some other friends went back to North Carolina, uh, Kentucky, all that stuff. Yeah, so we get people around the world to come to this airfield to go hang gliding because we have like seven tow planes to put up the planes in the air. Um, yeah, they go for hours and hours on end. But, yeah, uh, this, this is a pretty big airfield. Um, I'm probably going to, uh, well, I'm trading hours, my work hours for flight hours currently. But, yeah, you're going to see me a lot around here. Um, almost every vlog. See him when he flies up to the land, but yeah, you can see the wing. And pulls his legs out. Yep. There we go. Oh, that's bad. That's a fucking shit landing, mate. <laughs> yeah. So that landing was really bad for the glider because it hit the hit the side of the wing and could have bent something. Um, Maybe because these days uh, all the gliders are really made out of carbon fiber. Could have cracked something. Uh, hit the hit the tail of the glider too, so it's not really good. But yeah, he needs to improve on his landings, I guess. We all got to learn at some point. So it was a very hard landing. Anyway, what's up, guys? Um, working on a dragonfly motor right now. Uh, just trying to pull out these two bolts through the starter. Um, yeah. Working by the plane. This is the motor here. Uh, this is the, this is the four-stroke motor. Um, so it's got 100 and no. This is the this is the two. This is the four-stroke, but it's got 7, 50, uh, 50, 55, 65 horsepower. I think. Can't remember. But um, maybe we're gonna try and get up in, into the sky once we're done building this motor. Uh, the heads are off right now for the motor. Um, everything's off. It's just the motor. It's a uh, two-cylinder, so it's a small engine. Um, but yeah, it's a workhorse. Put it to work later. Um, if we fly today, we're going to be flying in the purple aircraft I just showed you. That's uh, a tandem, so I'm going to be going up with the legendary builder and designer. You know, the dragonfly his name is Bobby uh, he works at this he, he lives at this airport um, he just ran to the hardware store he told me to do this but I'm just scrapping around for little tiny hours to get done um, but yeah uh, looking forward to getting more hours and stuff I'm gonna try and, this is really hard because you can't hang through this out because uh, it's so slippery with oil um, but yeah, just in a bit. Okay, so got this uh, motor uh, here. I got the big ass heavy starter motor right here. Um, yeah. I got it here. I took it out. So these bolts and O-rings are getting old. Uh, you can see they're getting melted together. So we're just replacing that. Uh, these engines, depending on the four-stroke. Uh, and the two-stroke, uh, the the four-stroke has um, a lot more like 
power, but it comes with the cost of having to rebuild it every uh, 200 to 400 hours. Um, but with the, with the, with the two-stroke, I mean, no, the four-stroke, you have to like rebuild the engine every 200 to 400 hours. Uh, and the two-stroke, you can rebuild the 600 to every 600 to 800 hours. So the two-stroke is fairly more reliable. Um, but yeah, as, a, as you can see, the heads are off. Um, the headers are gone too. Yeah, so we're rebuilding this motor, but there is already a motor. It's already rebuilt into the aircraft itself. Um, yeah. Okay, so as you can see, the electronics are all ripped out. The motor and ECU is out. Starter motors are out. So rebuilding this. Um, we're redoing the altitude, the engine information system, the EIS, for short. So, uh, yeah. Everything's done. The rotor pedal's already reconnected. Um, yeah. But this aircraft is being currently taken apart. As you can see, the body panels are already off. Um, just to get to the motor. Uh, well, the electronics, because the electronics runs through the spar of the aircraft down the middle. Um, and uh, the ailerons are in a flat mode to help tow the aircraft, uh, tow um, the gliders, so to generate more lift and for a slower flight, because these things are already pretty slow, but yeah. Um, what's cool about this airport is, uh, we don't, well, Bobby doesn't pay for gas because he has his own personal thing that they fill up for him. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, still filming off my phone, so the quality of this video isn't going to be too great because focusing is going to be really bad and with the light and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, tools in here are fairly old, but this is the aircraft right here. Um, this is the trusty old airspeed indicator right here, throttle and all that stuff. Um, yeah, the wings are made out of plastic. Oh, well, they have this the the aluminium the aluminium spa on the inside, but it's covered in a plastic. Massive wasp. I hate flying insects. I don't know why. It just pisses me off. Anyway, it's a light sport aircraft. It is not an experimental aircraft because this aircraft is in production. Bobby, um, Bobby is like producing these aircraft in Australia. They're built in Australia, which is funny. Um, I think in outside of Sydney or something. Uh, but yeah, this is a very light aircraft. Um, I can rock it side to side fairly easy, but it's all that comes to balancing. Um, but yeah, if I go up, I'll see if I can film, but the, my phone will probably fly away. But I'll probably go up in a solo. Uh, in a couple, like in a, a couple of months, um, but it, it is a fairly difficult aircraft. It's different to every, any aircraft I've ever flown before, because the drag coefficient is so high in this aircraft. Because one, there is no enclosed cockpit. You're literally flying in in front of the aircraft. Uh, two, the wings, the f the ailerons are set into a flat position, so it's generating a lot more lift and a lot more drag um, for slower flight. To the uh, everything is exposed um, from the from this canister up top to everything, and it's such a thick aerofoil on this aircraft. So it, it's it's yeah it's it's a it's a very thick aircraft. Um, well, for an aircraft this size, it is heavy for an. It's not it's not too heavy. Can't say that, but it's. Yeah, um, mostly aluminum aircraft, uh, so it is not that bad, but, um, 
the engine is fairly heavy for its size. But yeah, it is very high drag coefficient on this aircraft. Um, but it's it was built for towing um, gliders, things like that. Um, but yeah, it is very fun to work on these little things because um, the engines are fairly simple to pull out. It's just they're really heavy. So Bobby tells me to like unbolt the engine and then put it on my shoulder um, <laughs> to get it off but he does it sometimes when I'm not here um, but yeah it's fun uh, I got the TIG welder and stuff like that uh, the, whatever and um, what's really cool is the the system for radios and stuff like that is very good quality even though this sh really shitty um, headset really bad headsets but you can it's not that windy up there, but your eyes start to tear up if you're not wearing gla like glasses or anything, because you're just getting wind at like, what, 45, 50 miles an hour hitting you in the face. Yeah, uh, we, we don't, we, we can go up to 55 miles per hour, or even faster, depending on the wind, um, but, we don't normally because we want to like focus on maneuverability and stuff like that um, aircraft is very it's it's, it's, it's it's there's no there's no electronics that aid you to fly there's only electronics to start up the engine keep the engine timing blah 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 and the RPM of the engine and the instruments for the engine. There's nothing else. It's just you and your stick right here All right, so we're going on a little journey to the back roads um, To get a few of the biggest sticks Not logs because they're not many around just like dying sticks that are lying on the side of the road in the back uh, Might be going to light a fire tonight or maybe later on in a few hours when I'm by myself at home because I dug a hole in the backyard um, it's about well it was supposed to be about two feet by two feet by two so two feet down two feet wide and across so it's a, 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 a box type hole but like um, then we put cinder blocks in it so we can put a grill over the top and uh, yeah um, so it got much smaller. Oh, these nice. These are nice. Hold up, let me pull over. Um, Alright. Quick note, pulled over. Old man in his truck came up to me. Scared the shit out of me. I was so confused. And he, he's the nicest man ever. He's like, because I put my hazards on, I pulled over. He's like, he pulled over. He pulled to the side of me, rolled his window down. And I'm like, and he asked me, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, mate, just pulling over to get some sticks. That was the nicest old man in the world, man. All right. All right, I got a few uh, good logs. That's a really good log right here. But I figured out a way how to put it in my trunk. But I'm going to break this real quick. So um, I'm not going to close my boot. I live right there, so not too far. All right, so just got back home. Um it's bloody hot mate, it's fucking hot. I think it's like 40 degrees or something. It's boiling and it's humid as hell, it's sticky. So I'm gonna chuck these in the backyard now. So, all right. All right, um, sorry for the back no background noise. It's, uh, I live next to a highway. Uh, anyway, so I got a massive log. So I don't have a saw to break it, like to, to cut it into smaller pieces. But I've got, what's it called? A Maddox, a Matix, right? Something like that. So I'm gonna break it with that. Uh, you're gonna start a fire soon. It's fucking hot. A uh, bit of a workout. I'm getting getting a bit veiny and stuff. I I don't know if you can see that, but whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's fucking sunny. Um, this is the fire pit I was talking about, but it got smaller because I put cinder blocks in there so I can put a grill on it to hold it steady. But yeah, I'm gonna get a cup of water and then start breaking these pieces of wood so I can light a fire soon. 
I'll get the I'll get a starting fire dot going and um yeah see how it goes uh, I'm looking forward to the fire I'm just gonna make the fattest fire in the world but let's go all right so I got a little bit impatient I uh, just want to start a little quick fire a little quick one see how it goes um, here we go Uh, see if this lights up a little bit. There we go. Start it up. I don't know if you can, you guys can see that, but smoking up a little bit. All right, guys. Uh, sorry for the background noise again. Um, well, that's a Hayabusa Suzuki motorbike. Okay. I'm with my really lazy dog. This is Lucy. Nice to meet you, Luce. Um, beautiful dog. <laughs> really lazy, but a, a wonder to walk. She's amazing to walk. Uh, very obedient, but she's lazy as hell. She don't. She won't move when you ask her to. All right. So I've got all the wood chips, fire starter, Kindle type. Of, I'm sweating. It's so hot. I was just in the sun. Uh, getting my Maddox and breaking up the wood because I don't have a saw or an axe. So, uh, chipping up the wood. You wanna give me a pull? Bored. So my dog is funny. Um, she's really lazy, but when she sees carcasses or like dead animals, because she's a hunting dog, and um, she gets <laughs> really excited and energetic. Uh, she almost ran onto the road, onto the main road, almost, when she saw a dead armadillo uh, sitting over there, and I had to go, like, get the armadillo, pick it up with my bare hands, probably got rabies or something, but, like, and threw it away. Look, she's really cute. Look at her. Oh, poor. I'm busy. I'm busy, mate. And she's a, she's got a really bad attitude. But, yeah, uh, I started a little fire just to see where the wind was blowing. I couldn't really tell, um, but yeah, the, the problem with the wood I, I get around my house is, is it generates a lot of smoke, so it burns your eyes a lot. Um, but I wear contacts and glasses, so it doesn't really hurt me, but um, we're gonna make s'mores later tonight. Um, I'm, I'm get, I might be getting my, like my action, cheap $40 action camera soon. I'm gonna get my. I'm gonna have to buy an SD card and an external hard drive where I can just like put my SD cards in, also plug my SD card in. Uh, I'm gonna have to use my old laptop as well because my Mac doesn't have an SD port. Um, I do not know what is happening right now. What? Relax. Um, but it's it's really freaking hot. I'm sweating. Um, yeah. We'll see how it goes. This video is gonna be so long. It's gonna be like 30 minutes or 40 minutes long, with literally just like four or five <laughs> activities I did, like going going to work and rebuilding the motor. Um, it's not done yet. It's gonna take a couple more hours, but we'll see if I can go tomorrow. But tomorrow is Sunday, so. Um, I might have a workout uh, with this coach named Iron Rainey. He um, he trains and coach. Uh, he trains uh, uh, so a few of like the superstars at Orlando Magic, like Aaron Gordon, Vucevic. Uh, he's also training uh, help help training um, a few like really really good D1 players. I forgot their names, but they're really well known. Um, I really want a Ford Bronco, like a lifted one, but nah, it's alright, I'm going to stick to my little WRX, but an 03 or an 04 WRX, um, bug eye, blow by, oh now, ah uh, uh, man, the police are out to get you now, but uh, because the DMV is still closed, you can drive an illegal car on the streets technically, because no one can register it for you. Um, yeah, I'll cut to the next clip. Oh, P.S. Um, I'm also going to be, for the podcast, I'm going to be designing the... I'm a really artistic person and I draw a lot, so I'm going to design uh, the 
logo for the podcast and this channel as well. Um, yeah, we'll see what I can do. Uh, I might do it digitally. I might do it by hand. Uh, depends on the quality. I'm definitely going to do it by hand at the first, and then we'll see if I take a picture and I'll upload it. depends on the quality of how it comes out, but I don't know. I think it'll be better if I do it online. Um, yeah, dog's getting a bit antsy and bored. It's, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, I did have long hair, by the way, and I shaved it about a month ago. Shaved it off, um, and it's growing back slowly. But yeah, some people, it's mixed, like, I'm getting mixed reviews about it. Um, some people say it suits, like, a lot of people say they both suit me. But rarely people say, oh, um, it, you look better with your short hair. A lot of pe more people are saying I look better with long hair. But, um, yeah, it's mixed reviews about my skin. I did an impulse thing, um, like an impulse. Like how people dye their hair. Or in cut, I might, I might, I'm looking to cut my eyebrow. Um... I'm looking to cut my eyebrows to give it a one slit on the left side. Um, maybe. That's a fat maybe, depending if my dad lets me. But, yeah. I'm trying to get my hair cleaned up soon and get lined up at the barber shop because it's starting to open so far. Man, this quarantine has been so bad. Um, it's been whatever, but... All right. Well, hi guys. Uh, this is gonna be the outro, at the end of the video. Uh, my parents are here. This is my dad. That's my mom, Stacy. Uh, okay, so yeah, this is the end of the video. Stop it! You've been weird, man. <laughs> nah, but um, this is gonna be the end of the video again. Um, well, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, please like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Um, stop being weird. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe. Drop a comment or something. Give me some pointers to improve on. Um, um, look forward to making my next vlog. And um, yeah, see you guys soon.